Hey miners, Mining King here. Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys how to mine Flux in Hive OS. So I'll be teaching you how to make a Zellcore wallet so you have somewhere to store your Flux. And then I'll show you how to set up your flight sheet in Hive OS so that way you guys can start mining Flux because proof of stake is right around the corner. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, here we go. We are at zelcore.org and this is where we're gonna pick up our wallet for Windows. Now, if you, you could also get this also in Google Play, in the App Store, you could download it to Windows, a Mac, Linux. It's pretty universal to where you could get this. So you would just click this and it will download. Now I've already downloaded mine, so I'm not going to download it again, but I will leave a link in uh, for Zellcore in the description down below. So you guys can just go directly here. Um, don't get any other kind of Zellcore wallets unless it's directly from Zellcore.org because this is what you need to get your wallets. So, um, so now we're going to go into our downloads here. And as you can see, I have Zellcore. And then we're now I always like to run my um, my wallets and my mining softwares as an administrator because sometimes they don't like to run if you just open them. So I always right click and run as administrator. Now it's going to install install the Zellcore wallet. And also, guys, if you guys like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you uh, miss my last video, I'll leave a card up up in the right hand corner here and that was how much vert coin did i make in one month mining on vert coin with six 1660 supers so all right let's get back into it so here we are here and this is the main here i'll blow this up too so this is zelcor so this is what you're first going to be greeted with after you do the initial install now if you have a login you can get back into your zelcor wallet but we're just going to do this as a new account, so that way you guys can just follow along. I'm not going to mine anything to this. It's just going to be a garbage account. So we're just going to put, you're going to click right here when you start a new account, which is sync register account on this device. And then, so after you click the sync register account, you'll be brought up to this. And then you can just make a username. And I'm just going to make some stuff up here since this is just for a throwaway account. Now it's up to you. You could do a password recovery mechanism that will be stored on this device locally in case maybe you might forget your password. It comes uh, disabled by default, so if you want to enable it, you got to click it. So we're going to click sync, uh, sync. <coughs> and then you're going to click, yes, I have backed up my username and password. So then it's going to sync to, to this. And then we're going to type in our our password right there and then you'll be greeted with the opening the Zellcore page welcome to Zellcore and then it'll say set up password recovery write down your username and password back up your keys you know enable the two uh the two uh what is the two authentic two factor authenticator so it does have a 2FA on here so this way um you guys can have more security so but if you guys want to back up your things, you come down here to settings and then you'll go over here to wallet, man wallet management. And then you would, um, so you can come down here and you can click on your private keys, click show private key. And then you guys can back everything up as you guys want. So, but let's get back into, we're just using this as a mining wallet. So we're going to come over here and click on flux. And then we're going to click receive. And then we're going to click copy on our little link here. Okay, so once you're in your farm, you're gonna come over to Flight Sheets. So once you're in your Flight Sheets, you're gonna go over here, you can either scroll down to Flux or you can type it in manually and it'll come up. Then you're gonna click up here on this yellow part of Add Wallet and then you're going to right click and then you're going to, you're going to add the wallet address. And then you're gonna cre hit Create. Sorry guys, my Hive OS is being a little slow today. 
Okay, so once you have your wallet added, then you're going to want to select your pool. Now, your pool will vary. So we'll go over here to mining pool stats. And then we're going to go down to flux. So here's a list of some of the main pools that are mining right now. And obviously, if you're pool mining, it's looking like <clears throat> it looks like the minerpool.org is the big dog in the house right now. So I'm going to say if you're in the U.S. or I think they do have EU and, and Asia servers as well, I think that minerpool.org is probably your best bet. So we're going to go down to minerpool.org. And this is say we're going to mine it solo. So then after the solo configurations come up, you're going to want to pick whatever location is closest to you. So that way you have the lowest amount of latency. I'm going to pick the US West. I'm going to click apply. And then you're going to want to pick your miner. Now, if you only have, uh, you know, AMD uh, cards, you're only going to have two options, LOL or G minor. And then if you have Nvidia, you're obviously going to have three. I've heard good things about mini Z. So we'll just, just do that for fun. Then we're going to click create flight sheet. It's going to say that it was created successfully. You're going to come back over here to your workers. You're going to come over to your, I'm just using my test bench as an example. So I've already stopped the rig and then we're going to come up here to flux and then moneypool.org solo mini Z. And then this one's already up here, but this is the one I just created. So we'll just do this one. So then you'll click this little rocket ship. And then it's going to come up and say worker updated successfully. Now, depending upon whether or not you actually had the miner loaded on your Hive OS. So if you have a thumb drive or an SSD, your load times may vary because it's going to have to download and install the miner onto your rig. So give it a few moments before you, you start worrying about it. So then, so we're back over at our rig here. Let's go ahead and click refresh. Let's see if it's. See if she's back up and, and moving yet. So it's already back up. So we're mining um, with Mini Z Miner to Miner Pool. And we're getting about 48.17 souls. And um, this isn't an overclocking video. So this is just my stuff from Ethereum. I just moved it straight over. So obviously, if I added more core, this would probably go up. Um, so yeah guys so that concludes today's video i hope you like it all right miners that's it for today's video i hope it was pretty easy and straightforward i made a, a dummy account so that way you guys can follow along with me and it, the wallet process was really really easy so if you guys want me to do a video on this for windows please let me know down in the comments down below and i will make a video how to mine flux on windows so, all right, guys. So just remember, the Mighty King is here to give you the most hashes, and I'll see you next time.